Hello, welcome to our 20-ish minute class today. I'm gonna to take it easy. I am recovering from COVID and I am feeling a lot better, but I want to listen to my body. That's what I would tell you and you would tell me. So um, we're going to keep it short at about 20 minutes today. Thank you for showing up. For our practice today, we will be using a ball and a set of weights. If you don't have weights, that's fine. I would love for you to find something that resembles a Pilates ball or a playground ball. Um, you'll see where we're going with that and you can tell Jill thank you because she sent me some really cool moves. So what we're going to do is we'll warm up and we'll go through these movements with just the weights and without the ball. And then secondly, we will go through them again with the weights and the ball. So let's get warmed up. Glad you're here, let's march it out. <sighs> Letting momentum do the work. One knee and opposite arm, marching it out here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Good job, you guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll find goal post arms, so your biceps parallel and twist at the trunk. Good. Keeping the biceps parallel with the earth. Here we go. Start to feel the hip flexors, so as muscles, kind of this muscle in the groin, fire up. Good. Let's take this for another five, four, three. Good job. Two. Going to squats in one. Good. Okay, take it nice and wide. Drop the seat down. We're not moving fast here, just working into some range of motion. Squeeze the glutes. Nice strong core at the top. Inhale to lower, exhale. Good work. Five more. This is four. Three. Got it. Two. And one. Whew. Let's take a sun salutation here, nice and slow. Reach the arms up. Swan dive forward, halfway lift. Let's step it back to our downward facing dog. Hips come high, head is heavy. Good, come down to the knees, let's take some push-ups. Hands about, mats with distance here. Strong through the midsection, inhale to lower, exhale, push up, good. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Great, quick child's pose here. Sink the hips back. Let the forehead come to the mat, forearms to the mat. Good, big breath in and full breath out. Excellent, come on up to tabletop. We'll take a quick lunge on each side. Step one foot forward, we'll move from our lunge into our half splits. Good, just take this a few times. Should feel really good, feels really good in my body. Good. Bring it to the other side. Strings. Good morning. Oof. Right. So my question of the day, as we're going through this movement, um, is what is one part of your body that is always like feeling it? Like when I come to any practice, the first thing is normally not my hamstrings. I think that's from laying laying down so much is my hip. So um, give me your feedback and we'll try to work that into some class uh, planning here at How May Of. Like the one part of your body that, gosh, I wish I could really get a good deep stretch and feel some relief in that area. So let me know. Um, let's come back to down dog. Hips come high. Good. Step the feet towards the hands. We'll find a halfway lift. Back down to forward fold. Reach and rise here. Good, interlace the hands. Let's take a little bit of a tick-tock side to side. 
Good. All right, grab your weights. Not yet for the ball, so set it somewhere where it's not gonna roll away from you. Grab the weights. First exercise that we're going to work into is bicep curl. So elbows tucked in, kind of right at the side body. Start at 90 degrees here and curl the weights right up. Good. I want you to come back to 90 degrees so the forearms are parallel with the floor and back up. Good, nice light grip on the weights. We'll go here for 10, nine. Remember, we're gonna work through all of these exercises without the ball, then we'll bring them in. Good. This is five, four, three. Starting to feel the biceps here, two, and one. Good, come back to that 90 degree bend. I'm gonna show you from the side. We're going to bring it all the way up, keeping the 90 degrees and all the way back down. You can even take a little bit of a reach back with the elbows, all the way up and all the way down. Good. And you'll notice, I'll tell you where we're going here, is so we're going to take the ball in between our weights. Good, so obviously when we have the ball here, we're only gonna go so far as when it comes to the belly. Good, let's take another three. This is two, nice strong core here, and one. Good, take your 90 degree bends here and we're just gonna take little pulses up. Good, so if you can imagine next time we come here, we're gonna have a ball right in between the weights. Good, pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one great work, you guys. Bring the elbows back in, and this time, instead of going back out, we're going to straighten the arms, reach it out, serving the platter here, and reach it back. Reach it out, and reach it back. Good. Whoo-wee. If you've ever taken a hi hiatus due to like sickness, or you're just like, I'm just calling it quits for a little bit, it's very humbling to come back to movement. Good. Here, we'll take this for 10. Stay with me here, you guys. Nine, eight. Eating a slice of humble pie right here. Seven, six. And we get to add the ball. Ooh, what joy. Four, here we go. Three, two, and one. Good, reach it all the way out, little squeezes in. So if you can imagine, we've got that ball in between the hands, little squeezes in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Whew. Let's take a quick stretch, arm across the chest. Take water when you need it. Let's move to the other side. Good, take the hands behind, you can hold on to the weights, just draw the knuckles down and away. Nice stretch into the chest here. All right, so watch me. So I started this, I did a little bit of research. It was a little hard. I think it's actually easier if you had um, like heavier weights with um, a bigger circular area on the outside because it's a little tricky with these tiny one pounders. So what we're going to do is take the edges, so um, outsides of the hand, pinky side facing each other, outside of the ball, squeeze the ball. All right, this could be interesting. <laughs> All right, so we're going back to bicep curls. So elbows tucked in, we've got our 90 degree bend, pardon me. This time we're gonna take it all the way down and all the way back up. But I want you <laughs> to give a little squeeze on the outside of the ball. Good. Just creates it a lot more, a lot more instability. Good. Right, you can see the ball like fumbling all over the place. This could backfire real fast. Good. Here for five, full range of these bicep curls. Gosh darn, this is hard. Four, <laughs> three, two, 
and one. Good, come back to our 90 degree bend in your arms. Here we're gonna go all the way up and all the way back down. Good, and you'll notice here, we're not gonna be able to go as far because we've got that ball. So just bring the elbows back to the side body, forearms parallel with the ground. Good, shifting it up, you got it, shifting it back. Good, oh boy, a little slippery, a little wiggly. <laughs> good, here for three. Nice job, you guys. Two, it's good to try new things, right? And one, excellent, bring it up, here we go. Okay, so forearms parallel with one another, biceps parallel with the floor. You're gonna squeeze the outside of the weights on the ball for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Ooh, this is hard. Three, two, one. Good. Here, keep the squeeze. Let's do little lifts up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Bring it back. Whew. Little quick reset. Get those outside of the weights, kind of equidistant on the ball. Here we go, we're gonna serve our platter. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Good, reach it out and pull it back. Continuing to eat the slice of humble pie here. Whew. Thank you, Joe, for sending me these new ideas. Excellent, here for five, four, three, you got it, you guys, stay with it, two, and one. All right, let's serve that platter, reach it out, little squeezes in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, bring it down, let's release. We're gonna do one more move and actually um, do a little collaborate or collaboration, upper body, lower body. Here's what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you here. So we're gonna take the weights with the ball, circle it up and circle it back, kind of like a halo out in front of us, circle it out and circle it back. Here's what you can do is you can add, good. You can add a curtsy lunge, all right. So it's really easy without the ball and the weights, right? <laughs> That's where we're going. So take a few more of these just to get the movement the rhythm in your body, good. Let's take one more on each side. Sounds easy, right? All right, here we go. And now is as good of time as ever. All right, so if it doesn't work with this outer, you could always just squeeze it. So let's try that. So squeeze the weights on the outside of the ball. Good, let's just do the upper body movement first. Good, these halos, you're squeezing the ball, holding the weights. Great movement for our rotator cuff. Whew. All right, so you can add on. Curtsy lunge it back, alternating. Here we go, squeeze the ball. I am like terrible with choreography, so I'm actually surprised <laughs> that I got this to work. Good. All right, next one with the left foot forward, right foot back, stay there and we'll do the halo. Stay in your curtsy lunge. Take the rotation for three, good. Two, we gotta get the other side. And one. Whew. All right, reach it up, opposite leg back. Here we go. Take your halo for five, four. We're going to the, down to the ground after this. Three, two, and one, I think we did more on this side. Excellent, reach it up, bring it back. Let's take 10 final squeezes, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Humble pie, I tell you. Excellent, interlace the hands behind you. Take a nice little stretch, gaze up. Reach it up to the sky, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, step it back. Let's find our high plank. Just take this hold with me here. Hold, 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 push the floor away. 
You could be in a tabletop here. Knees could be scooted back for plank on knees or plank on toes. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Down dog. Whew. Good. Come down to your knees. We're going to take a little bit of core work here. So I appreciate you hopefully being not too upset that we skipped some of that other work. I will include some other recordings um, if you want to do a full, full class. <sighs> but I'm trying to listen to my body. I'm trying to catch my breath. So what we're going to do for this core work is take the ball once again. Ball goes underneath the left knee. Doesn't matter. It could go underneath the right too. So what we're going to do here is take the toe to the mat. So the left toe balls underneath my left knee, left toes to the mat. And I'm going to take this movement of the kick here. 90 degree bend or so in the right leg for 10, nine, eight. Adding the ball really makes this a lot less stable. So a lot harder for the core here. This is five, four, three, Ooh, two and one. Keep the leg up here, you guys. Pulse the foot, pulse the heel up towards the ceiling for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee meets the left. Take the ball out. All right, child's pose. I need a break. I'm giving you a break too. Good. COVID is a really, really fascinating virus. I'm going to be honest. I went in thinking I was having a panic attack because I was having terrible pressure and tightness in my chest, unlike anything I'd ever felt before. Really, that was my only symptom. And sure enough, so the majority of my symptoms have all been chest related. And my heart rate has been all over the place. So right now after that my heart rate is at 120 which is too high <laughs> so we'll get there um just listen to your body that is always what we're striving here at Halmea is if it feels okay go for it you know it's okay to push yourself here all right so ball this time underneath the right knee right foot is tucked so toes are to the earth hands underneath your shoulders so we hover the left knee here. All right, really ground into the right, strong through the core. Here we go. For these kicks, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there you guys, three, two, and one, excellent. Reach that foot up, here we go, 10 pulses up. 10, nine, eight, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot, left knee meets the right. Done, <laughs> done with the ball. Find your child's pose. Forehead to the mat, take a little movement side to side. All right, come on back up to tabletop and we'll melt the heart down, walk the hands forward. Good. Take a full breath in with me here. Stay for the exhale. Good. Walk the hands in. Let's come to a seat here, figure four. Holy buckets, my friends. We'll get there. <sighs> Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. 
good. That foot plant, switch to figure four on the other side. Oh. You can even pull the shoulder blades towards one another here. Little gentle lift of the chest, lift of the gaze. Good. Let's come to crisscross, take a seated twist. Off to the other side. Good, back to center. Give yourself a hand. That's probably a move you've never tried before. Me either, until I tried it earlier at home today. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you, happy new year. And may this be the year that we all stay really nice and healthy. So thanks again, my friends. The light and love in me, season honors the light and the love in you. Namaste. Have a great day.